Xander Meggs leading off for the Georgetown Hoyas. Good shot to third base, and Meggs will reach first for Creighton. Good breaking pitch, swung on and missed, and that's a first strikeout for the ball game for Gallagher. Yeah, great cloud cover here in Mason, Ohio. Ball up the middle, nice play at second. Can they get two? Now beats the throw at first. The win between the Musketeers and the Hoyas. Ball popped up on the infield. Taking charge at short and making the third out is the UConn shortstop. And you have another starter, Dominic Conciliary, possible for tomorrow. David Smith knocks one out into the gap, and that one's going to be hauled in out there in right field by Chris Esposito. Area. Stock rips this one down the third. Hess can't handle it initially. Throw on to first. They still get him. Great work by Kyle Hess to stick with that baseball. Heard somebody in the cage, and it was AC Dana. And that one pays off as he rips the first hit of the afternoon. And you're year out, have so much talent. Ball knocked to the hole, and Hubert's going to keep the inning going. Over from first to third is Casey Dana. And pitches on that at bat alone. Donlin makes good contact, single up the middle. That will score Casey Dana. Advancing to third. And Matt Donlin has the first RBI of the afternoon. This is upstairs. Hogan Helix oh is going to throw it down, and Huber erased at third base. Base running air there for the Connecticut Huskies. See if he can get it started here for the Blue Jays. Ball is lifted out into center field. Tracking it well is T.C. Simmons, and he makes the out. Ball lifted out into right field. Almost lost in the lights, and a nice play. Out there, off balance. Ball hit hard, and that one's going to ricochet off the shortstop. Out in the center field, Brian Padilla couldn't hold on to it. Big pitch here with a full count, two down, and struck him out looking. Northwest passage before I found wherever that ball landed. Bumble comes in to Corey Morton, who was at the plate when the out was made at third. Morton's going to Drain one down the line, and good work over there by Chris Esposito to contain that ball because the power. 36 RBI. Swing him. He's going to come up big at some point in this tournament. Swing and a miss there for Padilla. Oh, hit him in the head. That ball off the inside of Bushling's helmet. Mama comes inside, ball chopped. Ball picked up on the hop by Hess. Over to Hayes, and they retire the side. Ball lifted out into center field. Tracking it there, T.C. Simmons. It'll be off the wall. Helixo running the entire way as an easy stand-up double to lead off the Creighton third. Smith dances in behind. Over to the plate. This ball ripped down the line, and that'll be fair. Extra bases, Helixo scores easy. Back-to-back -back doubles, and David Meggs is two for two with an RBI. We're tied at one. And Meggs with the leadoff single to start the game, and now this one down the left field line. 24 so far. Breaking pitch in for a strike, and Kyle Hess retired one down for the Blue Jays here in the third. So now Roden stands in. Ball chopped over to second. Smith going to pick it up. On to Hubert, two down. It made it batter's eye out there in center field. And Franz Odin cleared it all. This ball chopped out of first base line. Hubert makes the play, steps on the bag. Threat game this season, 455 runs. Ball to first, Stock couldn't beat it out. Another nice play by Helixo. Man, he has been. Throw the call off your pitcher. Turn around, fire the throw to first. There's another strikeout. Big pitch here. Here's the 2 2. That hit him. So Huber, two down on the Connecticut third. Ball misses outside and a free pass.
Level sets for the 3-0. It is launched out into left field. Going back is Roden, and it's gone! Corey Martin, three-run home run, and the Huskies lead it four to nothing. They talked about Corey Martin could look terrible on one pitch and then drive the next. He just hit a three-run bomb for Connecticut. Look at this pitch. Leave it up. A little elevated. Corey Morton knew it. Didn't even see it go over the fence. Another home run for the sophomore. Corey Morton is fourth home run of the season. And UConn has opened it up here in the bottom of the third. We'll have to see how long Creighton can stay with the It's just a good just default. Highlight the wing. <laughs> Tapper back to Lommel. He's going to get out of the inning. A little 190 hitter walk on four straight pitches, and Gallagher did just that. Swing and a miss on a breaking pitch. Hayes has not hit a home run this season. That was almost his first, and a high fastball swung on and missed. But trailing by three. Gallagher trying to retire Sailors for Nolan Clifford, and he does it. Second straight strikeout of Nolan Clifford. Lifted out into short right field. Esposito tracks it well. Retires Padilla for the second time today. Ball slapped over to second. Megs up with it cleanly. Over to Here's the 3-2. Ball laced down the right field line. That'll fall. It'll be extra bases. Chugging his way to second with his first hit of the afternoon. And he's six for the Huskies. Ball gets away at second. And now... David Smith trying for third, and he'll make it. Ball mishandled out there as it came in from right field. Stock swings and misses, and a nice answer by Wyndham, who comes on and cleans up the inning with a big strikeout on Eric Stock. Run today, one run on three hits and an error for the Blue Jays. This ball slapped out in second. David Smith picks up a Tailing ball, and there's one away. And David. Ball slapped down the third baseline. Bushling picks it up. Can he get him? He did. Throw beat him. Here's the payoff. Ball popped up on the infield. David Smith will yield to Brian Padilla. Padilla hauls it in, and that ends the inning. Dana lifts this one out into right center field. It'll fall. Trying to converge out there was Chris Esposito and Nolan Sailors, and neither one got to the point. Windham working quickly. This ball slapped his short. Nolan Clifford over to Meggs, and that's a double play. Sterling Hayes hauls it in so quickly. For Connecticut. Ball slapped over to third. Hess up cleanly with it. Over to Sterling Hayes, and it have a little acrobatics there at first, but makes contact with the bag and the side retired Connecticut. That brought Allen up to Ed when he was a junior in high school. This ball lifted down the third baseline, high in the air. Stock's going to have some time to camp under it. And Roden retired. Gallagher, 93 pitches. This ball chopped over to third. Bushling charging on. Sends it over to Ben Huber. And there's two away. Probably the hardest hit ball so far. Pretty good charge here by Esposito. Ranging over, Casey Dana pulls it in. And another one, two, three inning for Pat Gallagher. This ball is sent out back into left field. Tracking it down, Roden, and a watch it go! Second home run of the afternoon for Corey Morton. Have a day for RBI, he's three for three. And the Huskies lead it five to one. Corey Morton sitting fastball. Launch that one down the left field line. Look at this. Inside, bang. Out to the Jumbotron in left field. And Corey Morton, he knew it off the bat. That was a take. Yeah. It's, it. it's better than streaky. TC Simmons launches one out into center field. Going to be a run for Sailors who can't catch up with it. 
Simmons chugging around second. He'll try for third. Simmons coming in. Throw is behind him, and Simmons follows up the home run with a triple for the Huskies. It's a hit. Strikeout looking. So Wyndham comes back with a little confidence builder. First out of the sixth inning for Connecticut. When the ball ripped down the right field line, and that will score. T.C. Simmons from third. Wyndham chugging in his second. Throw is offline. Cleaned up over there by Kyle Hess, but a double. We check the second ball to the plate. Ball slapped over the first. Nice play there by Hayes. Can he get the out? No. Runners at first and third, and that'll be an infield single. Windham delivers. Stock lifts this ball out into right center field. Tracking over is Esposito. Tacking for third is Bushley, and he will score easily in a sacrifice fly from Eric Stack. Ball misses inside. Dana draws the walk. Huber launches this one out into center field. Nolan Sailors is back at the wall. He will make the catch and retire the side, so a loud out. Hard time seeing him get through the game, nine outs, but that's one way to do it. Ball well hit there by Sailors, but hauled in. It was, it was hit right at Ben Huber. Pat Gallagher should have a good idea what's coming. Breaking pitch, and that ball lined right at Brian Padilla. So two line outs. Ball hit pretty well by Brown. Here's the one-two. Breaking pitch, slapped and lined and cut again, this time by Zach Bushley. Ball hit hard three times by the Creighton Blue Jays. They can't reach base. They lost with the senior class each time they qualified for this tournament. He made the championship game twice. This ball popped up to second base. Easy play there for Mix. One after losing on day one. Corey Martin has lifted another one. He's got two home runs today. Is this a third? Ball back to the wall, and it's caught. Nolan Sailors jumps up into the air and picks it off the pad. Corey Morton made a bid. Center fielder trying to pick out the bright spot. Ball shot to first. Could be trouble here. Nice play over there by Sterling Hayes to pick it up and retire the side. So Connecticut goes down. Dug out as they look to get a rally going. Ball shot back to Kirby. He will throw on to Huber and one down. Connecticut side, right? Definitely, I would say so. Ball chopped a short Padilla up with it, and he'll retire the leadoff hitter, Andrew Meggs, for the second out. Here's the one two, swung on and missed. Kirby retires the Blue Jays in order. Oh, well, maybe it was some kind of tribute to Joey Chestnut, I don't know. Swung on, missed by Padilla, the new catcher. Luke Fitzgerald will fire it down to first. Dove it on your doorstep when you get home. Ball ripped down the first baseline. Nice play over there by Sterling Hayes. Picks it up. It makes the second out of the inning to retire Bushley. Here's the 0-2 to Smith. Swung on and missed. That'll be the second strikeout. And Fitzgerald makes it a little bit adventurous for the third out. Start a rally here. Rips a very solid single. And has a leadoff runner here in the ninth. It's the first hit. All back pick. And Roden took a big turn. Good hustle down there by Matt Donlin. Guys in heart then. I jumped in first. Ball is lined to second. Picked out of the air on to first. And a double play. 0-2. Ball taken for a strike. Kirby retires the side. The Connecticut Huskies register victory number 45 on the campaign.